Hey everyone, welcome back to another video in which we're going to deploy our Firebase Cloud function as well as use it in our Ionic app with our um, Angular Fire module. So let's get started. What we want first of all is to add some modules here so that we are actually able to use our um, Angular Fire functions, right? The Angular way that is like using with subscriptions and stuff. So I'm going to import something from Angular, Angular, Fire, and I think we could pretty much find it right in the docs as well, but we could just pretty much go ahead and write Angular, Fire, or rather we could just directly go ahead and start writing stuff here. So we want Angular, Fire, Functions, uh, module not really picking up anyway we could just do it then from angular fire functions right and we also want a provider here which is functions region token so this is a provider right here which is this and what it uses is use value containing the um you know where your cloud function is created now by default if you just leave this out it's going to make use of us central one you have to put it if you are using some sort of other location for your cloud functions but if you have followed the previous video you are using us us central one so that's good for you right all right so once you have that what we have to do now is inside our feed page we have to bring in our firebase um, cloud function and then maybe an ng on in it we can add a subscription to it so in order to we can listen for changes in our feed and then update it on the ui before that however i'm just going to go ahead and deploy our firestore function right here instead of making use of local host i'm going to say npm run deploy which is going to deploy our firebase function on to our um you know the google cloud which would then enable us to actually use these functions right so while it's deploying let's just take a look here so here what we want is first of all we want to bring in angular fire functions from angular fire functions right and just hook it in with a private um, angular fire function you could say something like that and then you have to create a callable function right so in our case our um, you know callable function is get feed and you could see that by the name which you are using to export that particular function you are creating right so this is get feed it's a callable function so we're going to say this dot angular fire function dot https callable and then the name which we gave on the server now remember this could be anything xyz but this has to match the name you have right here right so get feed is now our function and uh, we could pretty much just do it regularly just like we would do with a regular function right so you call get feed and it has to has a argument pass so you can just give it a blank argument we do not accept any sort of arguments or anything so we can just give it a blank argument otherwise you have to give it an argument at least one so we're going to subscribe to this and we're going to get the data and i'm just going to console.log this particular data right here to just see what we have what we are getting right so once we have that i'm going to start off my app so here we go and if you take a look in the console we could pretty much see we have 10 nice entries having all those effects description likes author all those stuff which we wanted right and these are just 10 random posts right right here which we have right so what we want to do next is create a layout out of out of it and we could just pretty much do that by picking up what we had in profile.html and uh, not really profile we could just go inside post as well uh, we could just pretty much pick this up and uh, yeah post only so inside our feed.page.html file we could pretty much say something like this and we could also say if we go back here 
we could say our post is something and we could just pretty much give um, this dot post as the get feed get rid of the subscription right here and we could pretty much go ahead and say that this is div ng if with a star post as async as um, you know feed what we want to do is feed dot and if you take a look at the data we are getting back we should see something like author effect description and likes right so we're gonna get author effect right here and actually if you see we see that we are missing the id of the post which is required for sure right so we're gonna need that well, let's just uh, rewire this thing a little so instead of returning just the data i'm gonna return doc.id as the you know post id is doc.id and then the data is doc.data not really like that just we're just going to destruct the data doc dot data right uh, there we go let's just deploy this function again and we're going to say npm run deploy meanwhile it's deploying we can continue with our work right here so we have our ng if and then ng for let post of feed or we could just you know keep it post only let post of post doesn't really matter we're gonna get post dot post id which we just um, did inside our firebase cloud function and post dot effect right now we see that we're gonna have a post id here and effect that's fine we also need a description that would be post dot description and on clicking we want this toggle hard to run again and we could just program this later on right so if we hit save and let's see if our function was deployed uh yeah deployed okay so if we hit save and check out our app okay so i'm just gonna get rid of this and say just say ng if post let's post of post right and then we have all this then finally we could just go to page you know basically just add a subscription here subscribe data and we could just say this dot post is a data right and if you plan to update it later on we could just ng on destroy we could just say this dot sub and then this dot sub dot on subscribe and we could just say that this is sub right there hit save and we should be free with all that async hassling because now you could even use your data inside your typescript logic right all right so now if we take a look we could see that we have all these images from uh random people so you guys also have uploaded some images because these are the images i cannot recognize myself so these images are coming from you guys i told you not to use my credentials for upload here but you're using them so anyway you could change them to your credentials and uh, pretty much we could use upload care cdn again to do add some more things like resizing and stuff right because we don't don't really want full hd images right here rendered in the face of user right so yeah but that's pretty much it the gist of what we can do with this feed and uh, this just consists of 10 posts at the moment i want you to create us an algorithm or something for the feed and when you reach the bottom it hits the that endpoint again to retrieve some more data and then populates it again right so this is how pretty much your profile would look like i created a new profile so that's why it's looking like this and yeah, I think that's all for this video. If you liked it, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching and I'll see you then in the next one.